or why would you invite her why would you invite her in my house why would you invite this strange woman i never even met in my house y'all miss me because i feel like i ain't post a story time in a minute but let's go ahead and get into the intro you've seen this out of the video your girl is back again with another story time if you do my channel hey girl hey and if you're a returning subscriber i don't even gotta say nothing because you know what's up i know what's up we know what's up and that's some way that's some way that's on period and mary had a little lamb as y'all can see on the top of the video your girl is back again with another story time and y'all 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 this story time is gonna be a good one but i'm a little scared to give it just because i'm a villain i feel like everybody is a villain in somebody's story like to some people they may be like oh i love asia and other people they may be like i hate that b-i-t-c-h like i feel like somebody is gonna be a villain in somebody's story so this is the story time that i'm a villain in and i felt really bad but at the same time like when y'all hear the story y'all gonna be like Y'all, he was dead A trying to move in with me. I don't know what I'm going to title this video yet. I think I'm going to title it something along the lines of um, I had to kick somebody out or he tried to move in. I don't really know yet, y'all. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Do that for your girl because we're trying to hit 100K. The goal is 100K before 2024. So make that happen for me, y'all. So y'all already know in order for any of my story times to make sense, I have to give y'all a little backstory. So y'all, this happened uh 2022... I want to say at the beginning of December, if y'all not new here, your girl had moved to Texas back in 2021. And I mentioned in a previous story time, y'all, when I first moved to Texas, I didn't have no family. I didn't have anybody. I told y'all all I ate for 2021 Thanksgiving, I had a Patty LaBelle cake a pie the pies from walmart y'all i didn't have like a big the dress and the turkey to him i didn't have all of that because i didn't have family because i decided to move here around the holidays and i kind of felt like i had just spent like thousands of dollars on like furniture the u-haul flights because i had paid for like my family to help me move here so i ain't really have like my budget i had a budget to move here y'all but all i'm gonna say is I had spent a lot of money moving here so i didn't want to fly back home i could have flew back home and spent it with the my family you know i could have done that but your girl was trying to i was trying to save the rest of my pennies because like i said i had spent a lot of money moving so i decided not to go back home and i'm not gonna lie like i'm not gonna hold you y'all it was like the worst thanksgiving the worst christmas i have ever had because i spent my holidays alone i spent my christmas alone i spent my thanksgiving alone I spent my New Year's alone. Like, of course I had God, y'all, but that's all I had. Like, it was just a lonely, it was just a lonely holiday of 2021. So fast forward to the holidays of 2022. I was not planning to spend them alone. But at the same time, y'all, I had just had a, got a new job around that time. And y'all already know how they be doing. In the first 90 days, you cannot take off or you get the boot. And I wanted to keep this job. Or at that time, I ended up quitting the job anyway. But at that time, I thought that I was going to keep this job, y'all. I thought I wanted this job. So I didn't want to go home again because if I would have went home, I probably wouldn't have came back to a job. So one of my, we going we going I'm not going to say um the family member wait what's the family member relation to me but i'm just gonna say that it was a family member so we just gonna call this family member jigger so this is my i was about to say i guess i can say it's my cousin y'all y'all don't know if it's on my mama's side my daddy's side my step mama's side my step y'all y'all don't know i have a big family so if you're watching this and you're trying to figure it out you're not gonna figure it out so and don't text my phone because i'm not telling you but yeah my family real knows y'all so yeah my family my cousin texts me and his name is jigger and he texts me he's just like hey cuz how you been how you doing i heard you moved to houston and mind you y'all i haven't heard from this cousin in eons like in years like uh, me and his cousin we have each other on social media so i do click on his story here and there and every time i click on his story um he a little he a little on the rough side y'all like every time i click on his story he's talking about his baby mama he's talking about his d game he's just real toxic he's one of those guys that's always retweeting stuff that justin laboy be posting he's always sweet and like toxic stuff he basically he be watching like real red pill content he be watching um what's his name fit fitness and i forgot their name on youtube but y'all know um what's the other guy name the one that passed away 
he said that we was gonna die single and alone but he ended up dying single and alone what's his name what is his name i cannot think of his name but y'all know who i'm talking about y'all know who i'm talking about that um influencer he was like he's the type of guy that watch his type of content like he's big on red pill content and he's just you know it's my cousin y'all but i'm just keeping it a book y'all he watched that type of content because every time i click on his ig story which is every once in a while like i personally don't even click on people's story if you're not like one of my close friends or if you're not like a person that i always interact with your stuff instagram don't even show me like your content so i would never really see his content i would click on his page every blue moon and i tell you not like i could literally bet my life on it y'all if i click on this man's story right now i'm sure he probably got something talked on his story because every time every time i watch his story he's talking about how he just deed somebody down how women ain't he called women females females ain't ish and he's just you know he's just that type of guy but you know it's my cousin y'all so he hits me he's just like hey cuz what you doing for the holidays da 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 i'm thinking about hitting h-town for um christmas and i'm just like yeah let me know i'm gonna be here because like i said y'all i had to work i had to work i believe the day before christmas or like two days after christmas i had to work so i couldn't fly home so i'm like yeah i'm gonna be here just let me know so when we were talking or whatever we were kind of just catching up on the phone he was just like how my brother how my mom you know he just asking about the family and stuff and i'm just like you know we good like nothing's changed you know, I'm updating him on the fam. And then he's also asking me, like, do I have a Snapchat? Do I use Snapchat? And I'm just like, no, nah, I don't really use Snapchat like that. Like, I got a Snapchat, but I personally say Snapchat is for whores because any app that allows you to erase messages, like, why are you on this app? I know the girls be saying they be on the app for the filters, but if you a male and you on that app, I don't know i just feel like it's just a sneaky deceiving app and i don't trust the app so i was just like no i don't really use snapchat like that but i still have snapchat just because i have it on my phone y'all but i don't even use like i'm probably not even let me see if i'm even logged into snapchat because like i said i just y'all i just okay so i am logged in but i don't use snapchat like that y'all so I'm just like, yeah, I got a Snapchat. What about it? And he was like, could you follow this, follow my baby mama for me? And I'm not going to give his baby mama a name. All I'm going to just say is his BM. If I I'm, if I say BM, I'm talking about the baby mama. So he's like, can you follow my BM for me? And I'm just like, yeah, I'll follow her. But um, I think you have to lie. I have, I have to wait till she approves me or whatever. He was like, that's cool. Just go ahead and follow her. And it was like the oddest thing, y'all, because like I said, this is my cousin um what we can name him Jigga. i haven't heard from him in a while i knew he had a baby because he would post um my little cousins on his page every once in a while but like i said this is like a distant distance cousin like we weren't really close but at the same time y'all i was excited i was really excited about him coming so once we got off the phone we kind of ended the conversation by saying i ended the conversation by saying like hey let me know if you end up coming or not so i can make arrangements for you because at this time y'all i live in a one bedroom apartment so if he was coming um i needed to get like a blow up bed i needed to like you know i needed to like get extra sheets because like i'm not gonna hold you if y'all come to my house i literally have one comforter two sets of sheets and i think i have like two throw blankets like my apartment is not friendly like it's not family ready it's not friendly so if he wanted to come to town i need to you know prepare my apartment so that happens i ended up telling my mom i'm like hey mama guess who guess who hit me up today and she's like oh girl and i'm like jigga hit me up and he said he's thinking about coming to texas so i'm really ecstatic y'all because like i said last thanksgiving all i had was a patty labelle pie and for christmas y'all i didn't have anything y'all probably like asia why you didn't cook i can't throw down like my mama and if i can't throw down i'm just not gonna try it because it's just not gonna give so I had like a basic, I think I went out to like a fine dining restaurant on Thanksgiving, y'all. I didn't have anything extra special or anything like that. So I'm happy. So I'm like, okay, Jigga coming to town, you know, I can spend quality time with some family. Although we not the closest, you know, he's still family and that's better than me being by myself. At this time, I think I probably did have like two friends in Texas by this time, but it didn't really like i didn't have plans yet i end up doing something with a friend but i didn't have plans yet y'all so boom fast forward to uh i want to say maybe like probably two three days later he calls me and he's just like 
hey cuz are you gonna be home these days and y'all it wasn't exactly on christmas because i ended up spending christmas with one of my two friends but it was like the 17th or it was maybe, maybe it was like the 16th 17th around the time i'm just like yeah i should be here like i ain't going nowhere like i should be here so he's like yeah cuz you know you always be out of the country like you always you always be on the road so i gotta ask you you some type of celebrity so he always called me like the celebrity cousin he calls he thinks that i'm like the kim kardashian of my family which i don't know why y'all because i'm not bougie but he always be like because yeah because you you know you you be on the road you be on the road so i gotta i gotta check in i'm gonna check in the day before too and i'm like all right um let me know or whatever and then also y'all we get off the phone and i just remember to text him i'm like hey if you do end up coming for christmas i'm not cooking like i can't throw down like my mama them so we're gonna go to a fine dining restaurant i don't know where we were going y'all but i was just like we can get a reservation at like steak 48 like i was gonna find us uh a reservation somewhere y'all on christmas so i'm like let me know like if you're coming for show for, for show because i'm gonna get us a reservation because i'm not cooking but he's just like yeah yeah we could do that we could do that i heard uh houston got all types of nice restaurants i'm like yeah 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 i'm gonna book that so we get off the phone click like maybe not even a minute later y'all maybe like 30 seconds later he texts me he was just like oh my my baby mom and them people up there so i think i'm gonna end up going to her spot and having thanksgiving with them so i'm just like wait what you just told me you was coming here to spend time with me and now you saying that you may spend things you may eat thanksgiving over there with them so i'm thinking like all right maybe i don't know like maybe he just don't have fine dining money i don't know what it is so he just said he was gonna eat thanksgiving with his baby mama so i'm like yeah that's cool but at the same time y'all i question it but i didn't really question it because it's just like all right he does have a kid it is around christmas and his child at that time was only like a few months old so i'm thinking all right maybe he want to spend time with his child i didn't even question it y'all i didn't know anything about his baby mama i didn't even know his baby mama was located in texas i didn't know about none of this so he says that or whatever and i'm just like yeah okay that's cool or whatever just let me know because he said he was coming but he didn't give me like the exact dates he was just like between the 16 or 17 so then after that he texted me he just like hey could you help me find a cheap flight um you always be you always on plane so help me find a cheap flight so i started sending looking up flights from atlanta to houston y'all so i'm looking up flights and i end up coming across a spirit flight and i know everybody don't fly spirit y'all but this was the cheapest flight they had and it was kind of last minute because he hit me at the beginning he hit me like at the beginning of december so i go ahead and text him and I sent him a screenshot and the link on Google Flights. And it's a spirit flight for $200 a round trip to Houston. You can't beat that for a last minute flight. So he texts me back and he's just like, dang, that's kind of crazy. That's high. That's all they got. And I'm just like, yeah, it's, you know, it's, yeah, it's $200. Y'all can let me know if I'm crazy, but I think $200 for a flight is good. But he was making it seem like $200 for a flight was high, but I thought, it was a deal so he was just like dang man i'm just gonna have to wait till i get paid if that's all you can find and i was gonna offer the money but y'all already know they say do not mix money with family because y'all know people be ready to fall out about two cheeseburgers in a dollar like y'all know how family sometimes can be so i'm just like no nah, let me not offer him the money or anything so i'm just like um you know they also offer payment plans on flights that you can get uh you can do a payment plan through like third party websites with certain airlines so he's just like for real for real and i'm just like yeah you can do a payment plan so he's just like let send me the link send me the link so i find an airline that offers like a firm or a corner or whatever y'all and i send him the link and i'm like yeah you can do payment plans you can literally pay 50 dollars every two weeks and you know you can be in texas or whatever so to go ahead and lock the price in so he's like yeah 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 cuz thank you shout out to you i'm gonna do that and now that i sent him that so i'm thinking yeah he's going for sure y'all so i start prepping my apartment i go on amazon i order him the big the big not this little one y'all i ordered him the big i think it was like 50 60 dollars off amazon a big blowout mattress i order extra comforter sets i order extra sheets i'm ordering like i don't at this time y'all i was on my little healthy journey or whatever so i didn't keep snacks in my house i started ordering oreos gatorades i ordered all of that just so my company my guests can have something to snack on because at this time i was trying not to keep like goodies and snacks and stuff in my house so that happens or whatever 
fast forward i want to say like maybe like two days later like i didn't really hear anything from him and like i said the holidays was coming up quick so i texted him i'm just like hey jigga you still coming he just like yeah cuz i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming but i don't know when i'm gonna get my flight so i'm like why are you still waiting to get your flight you didn't get the corner like you didn't sign up to the third party website to get a discount he just like no i got denied i got denied i'm gonna just wait till tomorrow till i get paid because i guess it probably was like a wednesday when i text him and i guess he got paid on either thursday or friday because y'all i didn't know that they check your credit when you sign up through these third party apps at this time i thought a firm was credit free like i thought they didn't check your credit so he's just like yeah i got denied but it's all right because it's all right because because i'm still coming i'm still coming i get paid tomorrow and i'm about my flight so i'm just like all right all right let me know what time you fly in blah 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 so like i said y'all i had already ordered the stuff because he told me that he was coming and then he just confirmed that he was coming again so that happens or whatever and now i'm starting to watch his story more i guess because i had been clicking on his story more instagram started like putting his story like in the front so all the way up until the time that he he got there y'all i just kept clicking on his story clicking on his story watching his story like i said this is a toxic cousin and around this time he had a lot of beef and drama going on with his baby mama so he was like cussing baby mama out on the story and i just remember seeing something or like reading something on his story along the lines of um he's called her H -O H O E. he was like that hoe done took my baby and she done went to texas with another ninja so i'm reading it and i'm like every day like every day when i say it, it's something y'all and also he was the type of person that he had those stories where it had little dots at the top that you couldn't even see how many stories he had because it was so many it was just like dot 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 y'all it was just dotted up the whole thing would be dotted up like you just can't see how many stories he actually posts because he would just be posting 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 and i would just be clicking through his story Re usually i would just click through but this day it was a little interesting y'all so i kept reading i'm reading i'm reading and he calling them baby mama hoe he's basically um to sum it up y'all he basically said that she just up and left to houston with his child and I'm thinking, like, this is probably the reason why he wanted me to add her on Snapchat to, like, watch her and stuff. Mind you, don't know this baby mama. Never even met her. Haven't seen this cousin in, y'all, eons. Haven't seen him in a minute. So, I don't know nothing about anything. I'm just reading. And I'm just like, ooh, y'all got a lot going on. Um, and I'm also thinking, because at first, I was under the impression he was coming to spend time with me and his baby. Because she took his, because she, he claimed that she took the baby to houston and she was staying with another ninja so now i'm finding out all this drama and stuff so now i'm kind of like dang do i still want him to come like i already gave him the okay to come and i already like bought snacks and blow up mattresses and all of that but i don't even know if i want him to come now because it just seemed like he got a lot going on so i talked to my mama that other that next day and i'm like hey mama um what you call it well my mama would ask me if jigga was still coming and i'm just like yeah jigga's still coming um, he's still coming, but I don't really want him to come now. So my mom was like, why you don't want him to come? And I'm like, I don't want him to come now because he got a lot going on. So, mm. hold on, y'all. Throw a little parch. But I'm just like, um, he got a lot going on. Like, it's this situation with his baby mama always posting on his story. Like, it's just a whole lot going on. So my mom was like, Asia, what you need to do is tell him to send you the ticket send him your ticket send the ticket and i'm like mom what you mean she's like send your ticket ask him to send you a picture of his ticket and make sure he got a round trip and i'm just like why why do i need to make sure you got a round trip because she's like he gonna try to move in with you i can see it right now he gonna try to move in with you so i'm just like why would he try to move in with me when he's just coming for the holidays and to be with his child and just to see me and i'm thinking he probably just really needed some well i'm not gonna talk y'all I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get there so i'm like all right um it's a little too late to tell him not to come because i was thinking i'm making up an excuse y'all come on mama was scaring me bad she was just like girl he gonna try to move in with you he gonna start to get mail at your place like don't do it don't do it so i'm just like yeah mama i'm gonna try to backpedal but then again i don't know if i can really backpedal too much because he told me he was coming so i text jigga that same day and i'm just like hey can you send me your flight because i want to make sure you you stand you flew into the right airport we got two airports y'all one is hobby which is like an hour from me and then it's like the um 
the international one, the IAH one. So I'm just like, yeah, I want to make sure you're flying into the right airport. So he sends me a picture of his ticket and it says round trip, y'all. So he book, booked his ticket for the 17th and I think the round trip day was like the 21st or something like that. So it wasn't even exactly on Christmas. It was like a few days before the holidays. So I'm just like, all right, whew, good. Like I text him, I'm just like, yeah, mama, Jigga got a round trip ticket. He only stayed for like three to four days. Like we good or whatever. She was just like, all right, you need to make sure. So that happens or whatever. Um, again, I'm still watching Jigga's story all the way up until he move, comes there or whatever. I'm watching the story. I'm watching the story. Again, y'all, every day is drama after drama. Like he's talking down bad about baby mama. He's just posting all types of toxic stuff and... I don't know y'all it was just a lot of crazy stuff that he was posting i even took screenshots but i'm not gonna post it on here because youtube might take my video down the type of stuff he was posting he was also posting um peacorn peacorn y'all if y'all know what i mean on his story it was just like a lot of little odd stuff so i'm just like oh and this man may turn my house into a, a, a i don't know y'all uh like a sex house and i don't know y'all i was just thinking crazy something's like mm -mm, like this not little jigga that i seen when i was like 10 years old when we was running around my house together like this this is a grown man and he on some weird ish so that happens or whatever fast forward to the day it's the 17th this is the day that his flight is supposed to fly in so i text him early that morning i'm just like hey um let me know what terminal and when you need to be picked up blah 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 because i'm gonna be available around this time i had to work that day y'all but i told him like i'll be available to pick him up from the airport so just let me know again around what time you're landing although i did have a picture y'all but I don't know i was still texting him like saying let me know what's up just in case you know something had changed so boom no response hours go by no response like i haven't heard from jigga i'm watching his story and he not posting like where he's at but he's still posting on his story like regular so i'm thinking like dang like he ain't hit me back yet so again i text him and it's like an hour before i'm supposed to go to the airport because i end up looking up the flight information so i'm like hey um are you still coming like is everything good with your flight because if so let me know because i don't want to come to the airport to find out like you already caught the uber or like you know just let me know what's up so he just like oh cuz i forgot to tell you i forgot to tell you my flight was canceled and i said cancel how your flight got canceled and he just like yeah there was a shooting in the atlanta airport and they they cancel all the flights all the flights they cancel so i'm like shooting like what happened like what was going on y'all know i hop on the shade room i'm like y'all i hops on the shade room i'm looking up and i'm looking i'm scrolling y'all i don't see nothing if there's a shooting in any airport this would be national news like this would be on the news and people will be talking about it so i'm just like that don't sound right i don't think there was no shooting so i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking and he just said that he he like he wasn't coming up more. So I'm like, all right, dang, like sorry to hear that, blah blah blah. But next time, maybe in the summer, like the summer would be a better time for you to come because I won't be working. So that would happen, y'all. Fast forward to I think probably that same day, I end up telling my mom, I was like, oh no, he said it was a shooting in the airport. He's not coming no more. Like everything is good. Like he ain't even coming no more. My mom was like, good because girl, he probably would have brought roaches. Like he probably would have brought something to your house, or he probably would have turned your house to a bando. It's a good thing he's not coming. So I'm just like, nah, ma, I don't, I don't think all of that. Like it is what it is or whatever. But y'all, something just told me. Something just told me. Who wait? Who was I talking to? okay y'all no i'm lying i was talking to my friend and she was just like oh is your because i had told her that my cousin was coming as well because like i said y'all i was ecstatic to have some company i haven't had company at my house in eon so i had told my friend about it so she was like oh um is your cousin there or whatever and i'm just like oh you know he's not coming no more because there was a shooter in atlanta airport so she was like oh again and i'm like what you mean again and she's just like it was another shooting and i'm just like another shooting it was a shooting in atlanta like when was the shooting and she was like yeah there was a shooting in atlanta like two three weeks ago and i'm like what so y'all i get on google and i'm doing my little research or whatever and i found an article that said that there was a shooting in a in atlanta's airport but the shooting was like um december the first december like the shooting had happened already like weeks ago and he said that was the reason why his flight was canceled so i'm like hmm 
that's a little weird because that shooting that shooting situation was old like that had already happened but i'm just thinking like i don't know maybe the, the flight information he sent me it just didn't make sense y'all since y'all because he sent me his flight confirmation but at the same time it was giving like he didn't have no money because i was already thinking if you couldn't afford a 200 flight you don't need to be coming to houston because you talking about you wanting to be at the rooftops you want to be outside you can't be in houston without no money so i'm like mm, i don't know maybe he, he lied or whatever but i don't know the reason he lied so i just y'all oh oh ready fresh is outside I, I'm, I'm gonna finish this up y'all but yeah so i was just like all right he lied it is what it is i don't know why he lied so that happens uh fast forward to like let's say two days later two days after the day that he was supposed to land but he did not land y'all two days after that he contacted me and he was just like cuz cuz what's your address what's your address i'm like what you need my address for and he's just like, um, I'm in the city. I'm in the city. And I'm like, what? How you in the city? You just told me that your flight got canceled. And that was like two days ago. And he was like, yeah, I've been on the road for the last three days. Um, I drove. I drove. And I'm like, what? Why would you drive from Georgia to Texas? Like, why would you drive? And he was like, yeah, um... I had to drive. I had to drive because Spirit was talking about it was gonna be an extra three hundred dollars for my um for my luggage and stuff. And I'm like, an extra three hundred dollars? Like, why would it be an extra three hundred dollars for your luggage? Like, I know Spirit is like a a la carte type of airline, but why would it be an extra three hundred dollars? So I'm trying to figure out like why would it be so much? So I'm like, Zane, like how much stuff do you have? Like, why would it be so much? And he was just like, Man, I don't know. You know, Spear and Frontier, they be they be tripping, they be tripping. I don't, I don't really know. But go ahead and send me your location, send me your address. So I'm like, All right, I'll send it. But at the same time, y'all, I was so puzzled because I'm just like who i don't know i'm not gonna hold you my sister actually on my daddy's side my sister did that she came to texas and she drove all the way from miami to houston in like two days and i, I y'all it didn't make sense to me but at the same time i'm like i don't know maybe it was cheaper for him to drive like i'm trying to put two two together i'm thinking he didn't have no money or i'm thinking maybe he wanted to bring something illegal and he knew he couldn't fly with it like y'all i'm just trying to i'm putting two two together so he's just like, yeah, just send me your address. So y'all, I sent him my address. Something was off about it, but at the same time, I sent him the address. And I'm kind of thinking like, did this, did he really forget his lie? Like you just told me that it was a shooting and your flight was canceled. Now you saying it was because of spirit in the bag. Y'all know, y'all, it was just giving pathological liar. Like he was just lying for no reason. But like I said, y'all, your girl was still happy. Cause why? I don't gotta spend the holidays alone. Like I got a little family in town. So I'm just like, yay. And at the same time, I'm tearing my apartment up, y'all. Like, I'm cleaning my apartment, fixing everything. And you would think that I had just threw a party. Um, mama was on her way because I was just surprised that he was coming because he didn't give me a heads up, y'all. So I'm sweeping my floor. I'm vacuuming. Um, You know, I'm clearing things up. I'm trying to blow up the because I already had the blow up mattress. I'm trying to blow up the bulbs. I'm trying to get the apartment together. Like, my apartment wasn't nasty, but it wasn't clean if you get what i mean so i'm fixing everything uh probably like 30 minutes later he calls me he's just like hey what building is it is and i tell him the building and um he's having trouble finding it because it's five minutes go by i'm like hey did you find the building and i'm not gonna hold you my apartment complex is kind of weird y'all it has like it's like two buildings of each number like at that time i stayed in i think building like 13 and it's like two building 13s two building 15 so it was kind of confusing y'all there's like a east and a west side so i'm like i'm gonna just come outside so i go outside y'all and this man pulls up and he's in a a beetle y'all a volkswagen coupe he's in a two-door volkswagen coupe and he's been in his car for three days so I come outside and, you know, I'm like, hey, like, hey, Jigga, you know, I give him a hug or whatever, you know, kisses, you know, fam, haven't seen fam in a while. But y'all, I couldn't help but notice that the car is just filled with black bags. Like you would think Jigga had just got out of jail from doing a life sentence because he had so many bags, like not a suitcase, y'all, not a suitcase in sight just bags 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 i'm just like dang like i hope it ain't no roaches in these bags so what you doing with all these bags i'm like what you got all these bags he's just like oh no nah, you know i'm bringing my baby christmas gift mind you y'all the baby is only a few months old so it's just like how much gift giving can you do for a baby that can't even walk and say dad dad i'm mama yet like why you got all these bags so i start helping him take the bags in the house or whatever and y'all baby gifts are like 
in boxes like i remember shopping at toys r us and everything was big in boxes but these bags felt like it had nothing but clothes in it so i'm just like having ptsd because like i said y'all my mama had already told me that he was possibly trying to move in and at the same time like like i don't know y'all i felt like i was having deja vu because i felt like like i was outside in front of my apartment and i'm grabbing the bags and i just had like a swift of like a vision like it was weird y'all i had a vision i'm just like i remember doing this like a week ago like i felt like i was already there doing that same thing like and i heard my mama in my head saying i told you so but i thought i was just paranoid y'all so i'm grabbing the bag i'm grabbing the bags and i live on the third floor at this time so i'm grabbing all the bags he has like probably like seven bags y'all and i'm mind you he was only supposed to be staying for three days but like i said he drove it there's no flight no more and he's in a he's in a volkswagen y'all he's in a beetle so i take the bags we take the bags we go upstairs he get in the house and he's just like dang cuz how much this apartment is right here how much this apartment is right here i'm trying to get a place out here this place is nice this place is nice and i'm just like oh i paid 1300 or what he was like 1300 that's it that's all for all it is and here you got the pool view you got the pool view i'm just like yeah it's 1300 like i thought like my apartment is well my apartment now is a little bigger y'all but at that time my apartment it was really small and it was 1300 so i'm just thinking like that was kind of expensive so he was just like yeah because this nice this nice in atlanta this right here 2k 2k easy 2k so i'm just like oh, okay well definitely like texas got a lot of cheap apartments like this is definitely the time to move here because they be having all type of like moving sales because people be moving out around like the holidays and stuff so he was like yeah this this real nice and at that time y'all i had a balcony and it had like a pool overview so he looking out the window this man like i said he posts he posts everything he starts taking pictures of the pool view taking pictures of everything hold on so y'all oh this is nasty hard um oh excuse me y'all he's taking pictures of every every anything he's taking pictures taking pictures, taking pictures. so i'm just like dang like he was treating my place like it was an airbnb like why are you taking pictures and video recording is this is like it's y'all it was nothing special it's my living room so after that we just talk about like old times stuff that happened in the past he's asking me about family i'm asking him about family and then i think i was going to go take a nap or something and I shut my room door. I showed him where he was going to be sleeping at. I had my, the blower mattress was too big to go in my living room because I had my little, my little table right there, y'all. So I put the blow up mattress like in my dining area. And then like I set him up, I showed him where everything at, had him a towel and a rag. Like I had all of that ready for him, y'all. I go in my room. I'm going to take a nap. He comes in there and he just like, hey, let me see your phone. Um, Did my baby mama, my BM, did she ever ask you back? And I'm just like, I don't even know. Like, I didn't even check. So, I give him my phone or whatever, y'all. He gets on Snapchat and he starts looking for his BM. And he's looking at her story. And I don't remember what her story said. But I just remember him getting, y'all, he got hot. He got super hot. He's just like, oh, this is a dog a hoe. She a thot. Blah, blah, blah. He just, y'all, dogging the baby mama. Uh, talking about calling her every name in the book. Like, talking about her so bad. And I'm just kicking and, like, fake ha I'm just like, <laughs> like, but it's just like, why do you care? It's your baby mama. And he be posting all types of about women on his page. So I'm just thinking, like, why do you, like, why do you care? So that happens or whatever. And he gives me back my phone. I end up taking a nap. And y'all know me. Before I take a nap, I get on Instagram. Again, his story is like the first little bubble I see. I click on it, y'all. Why does man get my crib, like my, my apartment, like all over the thing? I knew he was like recording, but I didn't think he was actually like posting it. I thought he was just, I don't know what I thought, but it was just weird. Like he got my apartment posted. Like he was at a hotel. So he would just like the spot for the week the crib i ease for the week um yeah we live in large we live in big this is like he just posted all that on there so i'm really tickled i'm just like <laughs> like why you do this why you front like that like why you you ain't paid me no rent you gonna front like that put some money in my hand like you ain't you ain't why you got front like that so that's that y'all that happens um later that night we end up going to i think we went to like mcdonald's or something and don't do it because y'all ate mcdonald's with y'all was younger and y'all still alive so I don't even do mcdonald's yes yes y'all still eat mcdonald's so we go to mcdonald's and 
um i don't know we ordered some food that we took it to my house and you know that was that that was like the chill that was like the first little day like i said by this point it's like the 20th or the 21st because it's it's like almost christmas so i hit him up because he came out of nowhere y'all mind you remember i thought he wasn't coming no more so i'm like hey um are you still going with your bm out to eat are y'all still doing a cooker at her people house and then he just like nah she don't got no people out here she don't got no people out here she was here with a nigga oh a ninja so i'm just like I didn't say nothing y'all but i'm thinking like like a few days ago you told me that she had people out here and you was gonna be doing a christmas dinner at the people house and now all of a sudden she here with a ninja and she don't have no people out here so y'all he just pathological look a liar like she's a liar but i'm like i want to be like i thought you said but just you know never mind you know a liar gonna forget they lie so i'm just like all right i brushed it off so i'm just like oh well we definitely can go somewhere you need to let me know now though because i'm not cooking and i want to make sure we go somewhere nice like i don't want to wait like i don't want to go to like chris i don't want to go you know i just don't want to go to the regular schmegler i want to go to somewhere new like a nice little steakhouse so he's like yeah because uh i'll let you know i'll let you know but most definitely put the reservation in and i'll let you know for sure so i'm like all right i'll call the people later on today so that happens um i think he left or whatever and he was gone for like i don't know where he went y'all but he was gone for a minute also he kept asking me questions about my apartment like he wanted to apply at my apartment so i was giving him all the information for my apartment but y'all i didn't really think he was gonna apply because he just told me like a few days ago last week that he couldn't really even afford a 200 dollar flight so how you gonna have the money to put down on a apartment so I'm just like, yeah, he's just, he just, he just chatting y'all. Fast forward, probably like, um, it wasn't late at night y'all, but it was like eight, nine o'clock. I was starting to get sleepy. He was gone all day. I had watched his story and he was like out or whatever. Like I said, I don't know if he had other people here y'all, but he was like out at bars, rooftop places, lounges. He was posting hookah. Like he was just posting like he was outside, um, in Houston. He was just posting a lot or whatever. So I text him and I'm just like, hey, let me know when you about to head back this way so I can unlock my apartment door. Because like I said, y'all, I was tired. Like when I be sleep, I sleep hard. So that happens. I thought I heard something. So that happens or whatever. And I end up going to sleep because it's like now it's like, I think it probably was like 10, 11 o'clock at night. It's time for bed. I'm tired, y'all. So I end up going to sleep and no, no call, no text from him fast forward to like i want to say um I'm, i don't even know y'all i probably was like 12 or one o'clock at night i started hearing this big commotion at the pool at this time i live right by the pool and people will always be having like late night pool parties i told y'all my other story times where i had to call the police because people will be having pool parties at like one two three in the morning and they don't even live here like why are you shooting a, a music video at a residential pool at like two three in the morning like people would be doing all types of stuff at our pool they would trash our pool all the time so i hear all of this commotion and i'm not gonna hold you y'all i'm nosy i'm that type of people when i hear commotion i automatically assume it's a fight and i don't know when i'm gonna grow out of this y'all i'm too old for this but i still go watch fights like when i see people it's a lot of commotion going on and they about to fight i don't leave the restaurant i don't leave the area i don't walk to it but i'ma look like if it's one thing i'm gonna do i'ma look so I'm looking out the window and it's this guy and this girl like are you in big commotion going on mind you don't know who these people are don't even know if they live there don't really know what's going on all I see is a girl and a guy they're fighting like the guy he's like flipping up the chairs at the pool he's throwing stuff they're going on, like off but I can't really like I can tell that it's an argument going on I can hear a commotion y'all but I can't really like determine what was being said so like I said I'm nosy so I go to my front door I crack the door open a little bit and I'm trying to like hear. So I step out like half of my body is outside the door and I'm trying to like hear like what's going on, like why they arguing. So I can't really hear anything y'all. So I get mad and I go to bed because I can't really hear what's going on. All I know is they fighting, like they fighting, they fighting. And around this time, all I'm going to say is the girl was fighting and it's crazy y'all that i like usually i'll be very like emotional and i'll be wanting to help when i, I don't like seeing men and women fight but uh, i don't think it was like a week before that but when i first moved to texas it was a situation where it was literally in broad daylight y'all it was a situation where i was in my apartment 
and I was in my room and it was two people at the pool. It was a girl and a guy and I heard the argument so clear. They was arguing and the guy had through the girl phone through her phone in the pool he had took her keys from her and he was basically like yelling at her i didn't see him physically hit her but the girl just looked so hopeless like she had her hands up and she was just crying and bawling her eyes and she was just yelling like why like why are you doing this to me like why are you doing this to me and he kept antagonizing her yelling at her face she kept walking away and he kept following her and she was just like how i'm gonna go home now like she didn't have no phone no keys no nothing y'all and I just remember calling my mother because I was like, I wasn't hurt. I was hurt, y'all. I was just thinking like, damn, that could be me. That could be, but that could never be me because maybe 911 say on speed off, speed out with me. But, you know, that could be, that could be a friend. That could be a family member. Like, that could be anybody. So I call my mama and I'm like, hey, mama, um, you know, I don't know like what I should do, but I'm explaining, like I'm explaining to y'all. I'm telling her the situation. I'm just like, mama. These people are fighting at the pool. This girl look helpless. She like she don't got nowhere to go. I don't know if he lived here or she lived here. Or like, I don't know. Something was just telling me that she did not live here. And she needed help. And she was in danger. So I was going to go downstairs. Because he had left for a little bit. So I was going to run downstairs. Invite this girl into my apartment. And ask her like, hey, do you need me to drop you off somewhere? Or do you need to use a phone to call help? Because she just looks so helpless, y'all. And... I was witnessing like a domestic violence situation like in front of my eyes so i was just like gonna do that my mom was like asia no don't go down there don't get into that you don't know what's going on he can have a blicky and then now you on now you on the news like now you on cnn and you know just don't get into that like don't get into it and i'm happy that i did listen to my mother about that situation y'all because literally like months later i end up seeing that same girl and that same guy i guess i don't know who lives there but i end up seeing them together going down the stairs so imagine if i would have helped her and then she would have went back to her abuser like you know what i'm saying it just would have been it would have been in vain so anyway so me seeing that situation at the pool again i was kind of desensitized to it y'all like i seen them fighting but it was just kind of like I'm just gonna go back to sleep so like i said y'all i go lay back down i go to sleep about maybe 15 20 minutes later i'm not in a deep sleep but y'all i was asleep i get a knock on my door and i just know that it's jigger it's my cousin so i'm just like dang like why he knocking on the door like he paid rent because it wasn't a regular night it wasn't a it was a boom 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 like he was really knocking my door down like he paid right there so i answered the door excuse me i answered the door and i'm just like nigga why are you knocking on my door like that so he's just like man she got me effed up she got me up up you can have that nigga you got and i'm just looking like what and then i hear a girl voice and she's not i live on the third floor at the time she's on like the second the second the second floor but on the stairway y'all oh look at my but yeah she's on the, the second floor and she's just cussing him out cussing him out f nigga y'all every name in the book she was calling a man she's just going off of him so he's yelling yelling so he's like shut the door shut the door and i'm woken up y'all i'm just like i don't know what y'all got going on but do not don't don't bring all of that in here like all of that you gotta stay out there like don't don't bring that in here like don't bring that energy in here don't do no fighting she's not walking to my house like i'm telling him like what's going on so the whole time the couple that i seen at the pool that i thought that i did not know y'all it was jigga and it was his bm and I, I don't know how i didn't recognize that it was jigga i guess i was just tired y'all but i was i was shocked because i'm just like i'm like the whole time this was my cousin and this girl so i'm just telling him like calm down pipe down don't bring all of that in there like don't like basically i'm just letting him know i don't know her she kind of looked rough y'all like she looked like she still like she looked like she would just tear my apartment up like she looked angry so i'm just like don't let her in my house don't i don't know what y'all got going on but keep all of that outside so i go back in the room i lock my door i go to bed and he was still like um talking or whatever and i didn't hear no knocks at the door i didn't hear anything like i y'all i went to sleep i woke up the next morning like eight or nine o'clock and jigga is nowhere to be found but it's a random woman on my couch and it's the baby mama so i'm gonna t insert a picture in here now because i didn't take a picture of her face y'all i'm gonna put an emoji over it but basically i pretend like i was taking a picture in my mirror just to snap a picture of her because i'm like first of all who is this y'all was just arguing and fighting last night and then second of all why would you invite her why would you invite her in my house 
why would you invite this strange woman i never met in my house and y'all should see how she had my couch she had all my pillows on the floor and i'm just like what and i'm looking for jigga jigga is nowhere to be found y'all i end up because i always open my curtains i didn't wake her up or anything but i keep calling jigga i'm calling jigga i'm calling jigga and i'm calling but no answer y'all i open my curtains and jigga is sleeping on my patio i have a patio y'all my patio is nothing but this big but he's sleeping on my patio and the blow-up mattress is out there on the patio with him so i'm just like what is going on? Like, why did you sleep out here on the patio? So he was just like, that's my baby mama. I don't F with her like that. I don't F with her like that. But that's the, that's the mother of my child. I ain't gonna let her sleep outside. I ain't gonna let her sleep outside. So I'm just thinking like, I don't even know how she got here. What's going on? Like, it was just, y'all, it was just so much running through my mind. And I'm just like, I don't know how she got here or what's going on. But I'm about to go get groceries but when i i don't know if i was getting groceries or if i was going to the gym i don't know what i was doing y'all all i know was i was leaving my house and i told him when i get back she has to go like she has to get out of here like she has to go he was just like all right because like my b my bad i'm my bad we were making too much noise like she toxic she took my child from me y'all and the craziest thing was at this i don't know why i didn't ask at that time but the child was nowhere to be found like i didn't see any child he didn't have the child the child was just not there it was just y'all it was just the weirdest thing so i left or whatever to run my errands and i came back home in like an hour and when i got back he wasn't there like he wasn't there or she wasn't there whatever so that happens and i'm just like dang like this is crazy but i thought like that was the end of it i thought like maybe she was going back to her people house or I, he said that she was there with a ninja y'all but like i said my cousin jigga he lost so much i don't really know what i don't know what what was the truth so that happens hold on okay y'all so fast forward um that day um i didn't really jigga texted me and he said that he was gonna be out all day looking for apartments so i'm just like all right that's cool or whatever and we didn't really talk that much that day i clicked on his story again y'all he had a mile long story a whole bunch of stories talking about um the bm reposting funny memes just like a lot of childish stuff on his story so fast forward um he ends up coming home that night or whatever he spent the night there we talked a little bit i went to sleep and then um he also asked me that night he asked me he was just like hey could you watch my watch your little cuz like could you watch my son and i'm just like yeah i'll watch him but for how long because i don't do kids like i don't like kids i don't i like kids well i don't like kids y'all i'm gonna keep it a buck i don't like kids so i'm just like i don't like kids like i don't do kids so how long he just like well how you don't like kids my jit different my jit different like my jit don't cry that much like my jit he, he different he don't really cry like that like he a different breed so i'm just like i don't care what breed he is like i just can't do kids for more than a few hours he was just like yeah i just gotta go i have an interview tomorrow but you can watch him for me real quick i'll throw you a couple of y'all didn't expect no couple dollars but he's like i throw you a couple dollars and just watch him just like you know you don't gotta give me no money i'll watch him for you so um i'm just home that day or whatever this is my y'all now this is like the 23rd like maybe like two to three days before christmas so i'm just like yeah i'll watch him for you so he brings my cousin over there the baby is like i say he was like i don't know how old he was exactly but y'all he was between like maybe like seven and like nine months or whatever so i watched the baby the baby is chilling or whatever like he wasn't a bad baby at all he did cry a little bit but you know once i wiped him down wiped him up changed the diaper fed him y'all he was fine or whatever my cousin was going all day and i'm starting to clean up now because like i said the day before she had stuff on my couch they had stuff kind of like like little paper and just stuff everywhere in the living room and they had moved my i guess he had moved my table so you know i'm vacuuming vac vac why can't i say vacuum i'm back vacuuming why can't i say vacuum i can't say the word right now y'all but oh let me let me let me let me let me rewind so i keep my cleaning supplies such as like vacuums and brooms i keep that outside in my storage closet on my patio y'all so i go out there on my patio and when i go out there it's bags and bags on top of bags like it's bags just falling out of my thing so i'm just like why did jigga put his bags in here because initially he put his bags in my closet so i go check my closet and i still see that like the five six bags that he brought there in my closet and then there's like an additional like 13 bags in here y'all so i start peeking through the bags 
why is there baby clothes and kid clothes? Uh, I mean, baby clothes and women clothes in these bags. Of these so immediately y'all i called jigga i'm like hey jigga um when did you move these bags in here he's like what you talking about cubs i'm when did you move these bags in here he's just like oh i've been moving them in here i ain't want to take a, i ain't want to take up too much space i'm like take up too much space in my closet when did you move these bags in here i see baby clothes he's like yeah those are my son clothes somebody donated those clothes to my son and um i was bringing them to hit to the baby mama those are my son clothes i'm like well i also see women clothes he's like yeah though, i brought her clothes and i'm just like no there's more bags in here and they really want to argue with him y'all but i had already made up my mind that day i was gonna be the villain like he had to go he he had to go and i didn't care if he had anywhere to go but y'all he had to go so I'm just like, all right, click, hang up. I'm a little teed off. So I'm still with the baby or whatever. The baby is asleep at this point. I'm just, you know, home, chilling all day. And, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm chilling, y'all. I'm at home, chilling all day. Mind you, he said he was going to be gone for a few hours. A few is three. A couple is two. He said a few hours. So I'm thinking max three to four hours. Fast forward, y'all. It's 10, 11 o'clock at night. No sign of Jigga. I'm texting him saying like, hey, when you going like head back this way? He's just like, yeah, they hold me up. Y'all, what interview held you up? So he just ran all his little errands all day. Oh, excuse me. It's 12 o'clock at night now. He finally knocked on my door. He brings the BM. The BM, like she spoke y'all, but she just wasn't very social. Like she came in and she was just like, thank you. Hi. And then she grabbed a baby and she sat on my couch. And I'm just like, what's your plan? Like, what, what y'all think y'all doing? You think, like, you, you not about, you can't live here. You can't move here. He's just like, nah, cuz I ain't trying to move here. I came to see you. I to see you and my family. I came to see you. But my BM, I know she with all that actionness. I know. And I'm just like, no, it don't have anything to do with her and him. But um, I'm going out of town. Like, y'all have to go. I basically, y'all, I was going out of town. I didn't know I was going out of town. But I ended up actually going to new york i think i went to new york for new year's so shortly after that i was going out of town but i just lied to him and told him i was going out of town sooner because it's just like y'all got a lot going on so i'm just like y'all gotta go he was just like all right like i understand or whatever so he spent that night there and the baby mama spent that night there y'all and by the morning they was gone they was, how you say gone? Let me not even do that because I don't know my Spanish yet. But I'm going to learn, y'all, because I'm going to a lot of Spanish um, countries. But, um, yeah, Benito? No, that's Spanish. I don't know, y'all. But, yeah, he, he, the house was cleared, y'all. They was gone. Everything was gone. And, yeah, that's pretty much the story time on how I had to kick the Jigga out, a.k.a. my cousin out, because... He had me bent. Like, he tried to secretly move in with me. Like, like I don't to say, the next thing you know, he was going to be getting mailed there. I was going to have to take him to court. It was going to be, y'all, it was going to be a whole lot going on. But, yeah, this is a story time on where I had to kick Jigga out. And I have another story time like this, but I don't know if I want to give it just yet. I got to let it season a little more because this is not the first time where somebody tried to, like, secretly, like, move in on me i even gave y'all a past story time about one of my ex-boyfriends trying to like secretly like move in and i'm just thinking like where are we going like my apartment is like 500 square feet like where are we going like we're in a box but yeah y'all i love y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next story time peace